Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we finally have our lake back. The uh, the lake has thawed. It's late February. We're probably three to four days into February uh, by now. And, uh, yeah, so it, it was just last night that the lake finally thawed out, which is cool. Uh, what we're going to do in this episode, at least for the beginning part of it, is we're going to work on some buildings. So I'm making a few more planks here, as you can see. I have 94 nails, which isn't a ton, but, you know, we, I, I want to get uh, some more defenses up. We got lots and lots of wood and boards. I've got 139 boards already made up in addition to, uh, you know, what we're still making here. All right, so let's grab our, our cordage, too. We got plenty of that. And, uh, yeah, we'll get started with continuing our build here. Uh, not too much longer, and it should be March, and then it'll start to warm up and... Uh, We'll have a few more crates lying around, and things will will get a little bit better. So this was this was a hard winter. It wasn't impossibly hard, of course, but it wasn't easy. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to to winter being over. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's actually cancel the rest of these planks for now. And um, what I want to do is let's make let's start making a few more foundations. Uh, maybe we'll go like say four more out to this way um, now the hunters can get underneath here so what we might want to do to prevent that from happening is you know put some walls down there um, so yeah we'll have to think about that this this wall ooh, that wall's damaged actually um, let's go get our hammer. Our hammer is um, on its way out too, it looks like. Okay. So, what I'm thinking here is... Let's put... Let's put these next foundations in. Now, I don't know if they're smart enough to run around or not if they're or if they're just going to come and derp out and attack you know from where the foundations are so we'll kind of see you know uh, how they they treat that but if they are smart enough to kind of come down in a oh that's not what I wanted to do uh, come down and around then I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to build you know like a barricade around the entire island what we might do instead is you know probably extend these out a little little bit further maybe say like to this point and then cut across to over here and, and wall in that way um I don't know we'll see we'll we'll kind of watch and see how the hunters behave because you know if they if they just come to the edge of these foundations and then start attacking from the water, which is typically what I've seen them do quite a bit, you know, then we might not really need to do that, uh, you know, especially go like all the way down. But we'll see how they behave. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is why don't we pick this up and I want to put it like there maybe so I don't think the hunters will dive under the water um, I just don't see them doing that so they could potentially still come through here I guess all right well let's do this let's make um, no actually let's grab this wall here and if we put this wall here like so that kind of blocks things from that side and then we would probably want to you know try and block things off down here too Uh, 
Um, I actually want to put some stairs going down into the lake this way, too. But that's not super high priority right at the moment. All right, let's get back in the water. So they would not be able to get through here at all. Um, and they could get down to here, but I, they can't get out of here. They'd have to kind of come around through this way for that to work for them. All right, so that being the case, um, what if we... Let's take this... And can we put that in here? I bet you we can't just because of the way that the curve thing works. Oh, well, that's kind of, yeah. Wait, can we? Oh, it started to snap s somewhere. But it was so fast I couldn't see exactly what it was trying to do. Where was that snapping at? Oh, actually, yeah, here. There. If we do that, and then we do the same thing. I'm stuck myself here. All right, let's make another half wall. That's how... I mean, they could still potentially get stuck in the corner, but this needs to be turned around, too. Let's flip this around. Okay, and then we want to put it back in place there. Wait, what? All right, hold on a sec. Let's grab this again. It's, it's really hard to tell which direction it's going. Oh, okay. So I think it needs to turn this way. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's cold, man. Okay, now let's take this wall. And we want to plop it in down here. There we go. So that, they could still get caught down here in the corner, but they're not going to be able to get through there. Um, again, basing that upon the fact that I don't think they can dive. Okay, and now let's make another half wall here to block this one. And then I don't think we need to block this one because I don't think they can, they can get underneath here, but they won't be able to get out. And that would actually be ideal for them to get underneath and get stuck there because then we can kill them a lot more easily. Uh, we can now start diving for kelp again, too, which is great. Okay, so let's take this piece and put it in here like so. Excellent. Okay, so we blocked that off. Now, this is still a place, though, that they could come through. So I think what we need to do there... I'm not sure what we're going to do here, actually. Um, why don't we, hey, look at that, we got a crate. Very nice. Give us some nails. All right, I'll take it. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Um, eh, what? Can we take this piece here? And can we actually move it over? Yeah, I don't think it's... It doesn't have anything to attach to. So 
So what we might end up needing to do then is putting some foundations in there so it has something, you know, to connect to. Hmm. We just need to, you know, get, kind of get to here. I don't know, maybe we, I could still get through that little crack too. That doesn't mean the hunters are going to be able to, but I can. Okay. So, again, one option is to put foundations in there. And, you know, then we have something to attach to. That might have to be what we have to do there. All right, well, here, let's make... Let's make one more foundation... For the moment. See now they can stand here and shoot from here, but that's you know that's fine. At least they're confined to out here. Again, as long as they're not smart enough to go around. And I, I just don't know if they will or not until we see see them in action, right? Okay, so that can go there. And then, yeah, I think we're going to have to put another one in here. See, now we're we're just about out of nails. Hey, look at that. There's a kelp. We'll take it. We will take it. There. And actually, uh, yeah, that blocks them from being able to get through there, too. Um, in fact... Can they get up through here? Ooh. Oh, no, we can. They're not going to be able to get through there. So we really just need one more half wall blocking that spot down there. So we can make another half wall. Now, eventually what I'll do is I'll put probably windows and then armor them up along, you know, this little boardwalk area here. Uh, but we, you know, that's not something we can do right now, but that's kind of what I'm thinking will happen eventually. Okay, so if we take this and pop that in there. Now, I guess they still could come through this way. So, hmm. And you can still get through that way, too. So maybe what we should do then is block on this side. And again, I don't mind them getting caught down there because it just makes it easier for us to kill them. This doesn't, we could actually replace this with a half wall too. That doesn't need to be a, a whole wall. I think we'll just keep it as a whole wall for now though, because I'm out of materials. But yeah, why don't we, I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way permanently, but if we put these on the inside, uh, then we don't need to make three. We only need to make two. So let's, uh, let's do that. And then just one more here, and then we're then we're good. Oh well, <laughs> I guess they could come through here too, couldn't they? Hmm. It's easy to get stuck there, though. I mean, darn it, I'm getting stuck there. Well, okay. So the other option, I guess, is. 
make two more. I can only make one more right now. Uh, but that's going to pretty much use up all our nails. Yeah, which I don't want to do. So, okay, let's just leave it like this for now. Uh, but I think I am going to move this back to the outside. And then when we get, you know, more materials and can afford to do so, we'll... We'll block this off, and maybe we'll just, you know, put one in here, too, to block that off. I'm probably giving the AI a little too much credit for being intelligent enough to get through there, but let's just assume that they could and, you know, build it accordingly. All right, very cool. So, yeah, for, for this, um, the tentative plan is to bring this out to probably about here-ish. And then probably, you know, start cutting it across this way. And we'll, you know, wall in our, our place and make like a little compound. And eventually, you know, get it all armored up too when we get to the point where we can afford to do that. But even just, you know, <coughs> having the water back, which forces the hunters to swim across the water, gives us that advantage back that we had early on. Because uh, they're kind of sitting ducks in the water. Not really. I mean, they'll they'll get out or they'll get to the point where they'll they'll surface and start shooting. But they don't typically do that until they get really close to the base. So in the meantime, you know, we can take pot shots at them while they're working their way over here. And then hopefully by next winter, you know, when the lake freezes up again, by that point we will have some pretty significant defenses in place. All right, well, what I'm going to do is harvest these the island trees here, and then we're going to go out and uh, we have another lock pick and get our daily lock crate. I've been pretty fortunate uh, and have been able to find a lock crate almost every day. And so, you know, we'll hopefully keep that trend going. And um, look at that, man. There's no more snow on the ground either. Is it still February? Yeah. And, uh, you know, get and get some more loot. And uh, we obviously need to get more nails now. All right, guys. Uh, we are back. And we're going to go out and look for some more uh, crates. Lock pick or locked crate and more crates in general. Uh looking for nails in particular let's grab these ones here on the island uh, also i've got some extra cotton so i want to use that cotton to uh to uh, repair my armor so that's what we're gonna do in the second part of this episode here let's check our chicken uh chickens are not in too bad of shape so we'll leave it there okay so let's look at this too you could stand to have a little bit of water you could stand to have a little bit of water and we'll fill these back up out here okay that can go in there that can go in there that can go in there and these can go in here Okay, so uh, we're, we, we're going to need cotton to repair our stuff. Should I, mm, should I wait a little bit longer? It's not all the way down. Yeah, you know what? Let's wait just a little bit longer. We're going to hang on to that cotton. So, yeah, okay. Uh, we still, you know, it's still February. We still could get caught in a blizzard, so we're going to keep the heat packs with us until, probably until March. And then we can, we should be able to put those away. So, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's get something to eat here. Um, so I'm going to eat a liver, and that gets us really pretty close all the way up there. Maybe we can top the protein off with one of those. And then let's put uh, or eat three blueberries, and that gets us pretty darn close too. And we'll take this canteen of water with us. All right, let's get get out there. I don't see any enemies coming this way. 
So as usual, we'll go up by the arch and uh, just kind of loot around there. I did manage to get a little bit more of the map uncovered, kind of over closer to uh, the cougar territory along the mountain. Um, it is my intention to, to, to at some point, build a bridge, span a bridge across this, this part too. Let's get this um, clam here. All right. So not uh, not going to do a lot of hunting right now. We're we're mostly just after crates. If uh, a critter gets in our way, oh, we are going to get ore too. Uh, but we're not going to really cut wood except uh, except for maybe grub trees. Uh, but we will get ore and iron in particular, which I think this is. Yes. We'll get the zinc as well. All right, so there's a crate down here on the beach. And let's also kind of look up around here. We got a, a scrap metal. We'll grab that. Another scrap metal. Nice. At one point, I was getting kind of low on that, but we're, be we're, we're building it back up now. All right, we got a building crate here. We have um, almost like 60 uh, rose hip berries now. So we'll be able to make some nice jam. All right, I hear gunfire. Kind of, there's a moose over there. It sounded like it was more over there as opposed to over by Charlie. So there could be rogues here. I didn't actually check overnight, which I should have. Uh, so let's get up by the fence. Is that a crate there by, under the tree? I don't think so. Let's kind of get up by the fence and just carefully take a look and see what's going on. And I don't want to get into it with rogues. They're just going to waste our ammo. If we can avoid them, we will. I suppose that could have been... Charlie um, fighting an animal close to their base, but it kind of sounded like it was coming more from the arch. Yeah, let's grab this potassium here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything so far. Oh, no, I do see a hunter right in front of us. All right, well, I guess we're not going to the arch. Because it looks like that's more or less the direction that the rogues are in. So instead, we're going to go back around over kind of by the birchwood and see if we can find a locked crate there. Let's get this grub tree here. Three wolf there. How many shotgun shells do I have? I've got two plus a full gun right now. Um. Oh, here's a crate. Let's go see what level this moose is. Got a tomato seed out of that one. It's a chicken. Is the moose just swimming across, or did he get did he get uh, spooked? No, I think he's just swimming across, but obviously we can't follow him. Oh my gosh, it's getting late in the day, isn't it? I had to uh, I had to actually leave the game in real life and go eat dinner with my wife for a while, and I uh, forgot that it was afternoon. All right, well we're not getting that moose. Um, I don't know. It's probably not safe for us to go through this way. No 
Okay. Then let's do this. Let's um let's swim out to that little point there, and we'll just avoid Charlie. Um, we might as well grab some kelp since it looks like there's a decent amount of it here. A little bit deep, but I think we can get it. There's a clam over there too. Okay, that that kelp down there is really deep. We're kind of getting close to Charlie's base here. I think we can get this clam though. get this one. I think that's a sandstone, so we're not going to mess with that. Yeah, we've uh, done run out of out of light here. Darn it. Well, let's uh let's just kind of skirt the edge of the birchwood here. Being wet is not uh, good because that's just making us all the more colder. There's a building crate. It's actually warmer when you're in the water. But once you get out, you know, then the cold sets in. Uh, it, it's too doggone dark to see. This doesn't really help. <laughs> doesn't cover enough uh, area to... Oh, shit, and it's snowing too. Okay, I think it's time to go home. Let's head on back. We're already down 20% of our health so it's time to go I could take a heat pack but I think we'll, once we get in the water it'll be a little bit warmer and then you know on the other ends of the base so I think we'll be okay are being attacked so let's see what these guys end up doing yeah they're coming across the water here visibility is not that great Okay, he's dead. Nice. This is so much better than when they're... Okay. Uh, we got another group coming. So let's let them get a little closer. I've been getting attacked by these guys or by both of these groups simultaneously for like the last three, three or four times in a row. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. And one more to go. Yeah, the, I, the, I know I keep saying this, but this is just way better than when they can run across the ice. See, it's so hard to hit them when they're going at an angle. Okay, so they got one grenade hit off, but that's about it. Okay, let's go get the loot. We got five bags of stuff here. So yeah, we can just kind of sit on our dock. Um, 
I'm not even sure if they fired on us once. They fired on the base once or twice. Maybe they did fire at us once too, but uh, that worked out quite well. Okay, and then we got, we got this last one up here. They didn't seem to... Uh, uh, they, they definitely didn't... You know, all of them definitely didn't try and get around the edge of here. In fact, I don't... It didn't seem like really any of them were trying to get around the edge. Which kind of, you know, doesn't really surprise me because that's kind of what I thought they might do. So, all right, cool. Uh, but did that grenade... Yeah, that grenade did make contact with our wall there. Uh, so let's grab the hammer here. Uh, we're going to need a new hammer here in just a little bit. Uh, nope. I'll we'll hit that, and then, yep, this got hit too. The door's actually in good shape. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll tap that. Ceiling's good. That wall's good. That wall's good. That needs a couple hits. And that's good. Yeah, I don't think anything down lower uh, here took any damage. Uh, oh, never mind. It did. Okay, we are out of nails again. Damn it, Jim. Okay, well, anyway, we don't have to worry about two of the three hunters attacking us for, for a while now. Okay, so let's see. Let's get the... Oh, we got lots of shotgun shells from them. That's amazing. Okay, we'll put those in there. We're going to need these magnum rounds back. And, uh... Don't have any rifle rounds left. Okay, let's reload this. This also needs to be reloaded. And uh, we should have enough stuff here to make some rifle rounds, so... We'll make four more. That's the exact amount that we need to fill our gun back up. Okay. You ran out because we're full. That's a good reason to run out. Okay, we'll put all that stuff in there. This goes here, and this goes here. All right, well, we need to go out and look for more nails. More nails and... Let's eat uh, this here. Get our food topped off. Um, I'm going to drink that. I'm going to eat another one of those. And let's also chow down on a couple of blueberries. And yeah, winter, win winter is back for a little while longer. That's usually what happens right at the end of February. Uh, we'll have one more blizzard, and this is probably it before it completely, you know, goes away. So, I guess the question is, do we want to try and go out in it? We do have the three heat packs with us. Um... Let's let, get this loader back up. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we should do that or not, actually. Alright, well, we got ourselves a deer. Yeah. See, here's the thing. I mean, we, we could go out in it, but we're, we'll have to use the heat packs to survive and... Three heat packs probably is it is not going to be enough to stay out in it for any length of time. So I guess uh, I guess the game has other ideas for us. All right. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it then for this episode. So we're going to wrap things up here, and I might not bring you back until we are actually into to spring, because uh, it's still February there, as you can see. 
Uh, so, you know, when March rolls around, essentially. And, um, you know, then we'll go from there. So, you know, we're, we're absolutely desperately low on nails. That's the thing that we really need to get. And so we'll be looking for that and continuing, you know, to look for lock crates and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.